Alright, now what you're going to need for this DIY is your glass face. I'm also using my Looking Glass Crylon Spray Paint. My Flower Mesh from Bee Park. Those silver small spoons from Dollar Tree. Your scissors, your glue gun, and your glue stick. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to spray paint this face. And now I'm going to take my small miniature hors d'oeuvre spoons and I'm just going to break them. And this is what that vase looks like painted. And I'm just breaking the ends off each of the spoons. And I'm going to do this for all of my spoons and I actually have a total of three packs of these. So I ordered one of those. 
but you already know because I am that glam girl you already are expecting kind of what we'll be getting and I'm going to hold them up side by side and I know on camera it may not look a little different but it is a semi different setup but I am loving it Please do make sure you check out that uh, bpark.com website. Look at the item description code. I'm going to drop my discount code also in that description box as well. All right, now let's jump right back into this DIY. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm actually taking those flower mesh strips that I cut and I'm going to layer the bottom of the vase. Now all I'm doing is I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm just putting a dab of glue on each of the flower mesh pieces. Now I'm just going to actually place that mesh on the bottom of that vase as I go around and I just want this on the very rim of the bottom. And you're going to have to be careful if you try this because with this circular vase, it has the tendency to keep rolling. But once you get your glue on that flower mesh, just lay it on at the bottom. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the spoon part of the spoon and I'm just gluing them down on the bottom of the vase and I'm going to glue them up the vase in an angle and how I'm positioning them, I'm positioning them every third flower mesh square. As you see I got one. I'm adding the hot glue on the very bottom of that spoon and the very tip. Be very careful not to get burned doing this.
And what I did was I layered it's a total of six spoons, chips on each row. Now we're going to do this all the way around. I have all the rows complete except for two. And I'm going to just complete these rows of these spoon tips till we finish off our vase design. Now once she finished, she looks like this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take that flower mesh again and I'm just adding my drops of hot glue to it. And we're going to layer these right next to each side of or on top of and on bottom of the spoons. Be careful with this because this glue is hot not to burn yourself. And as I lay it down, this is what it's looking like. And I'm going to do this for every row of the spoons. And also, too, if you're still watching and you're not a family member of the Glam Queen, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Also, you do want to turn on that notification bell so you'll know every time I do upload a content. I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you get DIYs, and that's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Sundays at 5 p.m., you'll be getting home decor. Now this is what it's looking like with those rows of, that first few rows of spoons done, I'm sorry everyone. And now I'm going to take that spoon now that we've completed those. And I'm just adding hot glue to the tip end of the spoon and on the other tip where I broke the spoon off. Now I'm laying the wide back end of the spoon to the bottom portion of my vase or the neck. And that broken part of the spoon, I'm actually laying it at the edge or the tip of my vase like this here. Now I'm going to be layering these spoon tips in all the way around the neck portion of this vase. But how I'm getting my design, I am just layering those bottom tips right next to each other to where they're actually touching each other on the side. And I am going to do this all the way around. And this is just part one of this because I am going to elongate this vase.
and I'm going to let you see me layer a few of these on so you can see the actual process or the concept that I got going to actually add more elegance to this vase and she looks like this she's coming together very beautifully And we're getting ready to put in our final uh, spoon tips. Now leave me a comment to let me know so far how do you think uh, my designer high-end looking glam vase is looking. From my perspective of how I'm looking at she is very beautiful. Now here make sure you get the glue on those tips another useful uh, tip also and you're gonna see me on uh, a few of these where I had to cut that jagged point off the end of those spoons for when it broke so if you try to uh, replicate this project make sure when you break those spoons that if you have any jagged pieces you just take your scissors immediately and just snip it off Now this is what she looks like with all of those spoons in place. Now, the next thing we're going to do first is we're going to actually take those next row of spoons and I'm just layering them in between those spoons and I'm doing this with the small end going down first. You know, on the bottom we did the larger or the end tip of the spoon against the base. So we're taking the smaller end of where we broke the spoon and we're just like sticking them probably halfway down in between each row of the spoons. And I'm going to do this throughout this whole entire piece. And I'm just adding my hot glue on the tip and right at the portion where that spoon bends and hit the curve. Now, as you can see, you can see that I have actually added about four more, three to four more inches to the size of this vase. And I'm going to put in those final 
three uh, spoon tips so we can complete uh, the elongation part of this vase off. And again, this is what she looks like with that second row of the tips of those spoons. And now we're going to take that flour mesh and go right along the base or the top portion of that vase right up under the spoons as to where when I ran the spoons and the bling wrap up where um, I had a little gap. So I'm going to close off the gap with the flour mesh. Now make sure if you do this, you get it dead at the very top of the vase or right at the very bottom portion of the ends of those spoons. And you're gonna do this all the way around that vase. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add another row of flower mesh in the center portion. When you're looking at this vase, we want that flower mesh to go in the position where you can see that top layer of spoons where it was put in to give the elevation so we can actually hide the ends of those spoons. All you're going now all you're gonna do is just take your flour mesh again with that hot glue and I'm just dabbing the hot glue on each of the flour mesh pieces. Anytime I use flour mesh, I don't run a line of the hot glue. I just put a little dab on each individual piece. And we're gonna do this all the way around the circumference of this vase. Now what we're doing next is once I got that first row on, I wanted, wanted a total of three rows. 
I just needed that first row even, so I'm taking my next strip of those two or that doubled flower mesh, and I'm doing a little drop of glue on each again, and I'm going just to layer this right up against or next to that row that I just put on. And again, make sure you find the method to actually add this on if you replicate it so that that hot glue will not burn you. And we're going to do this all the way around again. And to everyone, if you're not a uh, partner with our other family channels, the, the Decor Lady, the She Bought It channel name changed to Piece of the Pie, please make sure you go over and subscribe. We're doing the final updates on all of these channels, and you'll be getting your weekly content in. Also, our inspirational channel is made to inspire please we would really appreciate it if you become family members of all of these channels we have all of our information down in that description box as we put more and more of this flower mesh on this vase she is looking very beautiful she's coming together lovely drop me a comment and let me know if you like it or if you think the flower mesh is elevating it or am i still just being too extra of a glam girl And that's it everyone this is what she's looking like with that three rows of that flower mesh and we're not through just about we're gonna add in another row of flower mesh right at the bottom base of those spoons and we're gonna do it the same way hot glue on the bottom base one by one Now this is what it looks like with that flower mesh at the bottom base. Now to complete it off, we're going to add a row of that flower mesh at the very tip top of those spoons. And we're bringing this DIY very close to a close. To everyone, make sure you always stay at the end while I'll be including a clip in of me styling the vase in my home.
Now this is the completed look of that vase. She is truly gorgeous to me and I've actually gathered another idea but from it, but this is what she's looking like. And again, family, uh, if you're still watching you're not a family member, please hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Thumbs up the video if you're liking the content. But if you know what time it is, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see every one of you in another upcoming video. Bye everyone, stay blessed, and always stay positive.